Our fifth speaker today is Charlton Bilo. A thousand years of change, a thousand years of change, Charlton Bilo. Well, it's a pleasure to get a chance to be with you here today. I, I have a topic I'd like to talk about, and I'd actually like to talk to your hearts. Is that okay? Yes. Sure. You know, many of you who do know me and know my position would think that as a data analyst, I'm here today to share with you data, information, facts, graphs about technology. And quite honestly, technology is really amazing and where it's come and what it's doing. You know, if you think about literally right now, billions and billions of processes are running across computers around the world and artificial intelligence continues to develop, and it's beyond the scope of the human mind, and artificial intelligence is continuing to grow. In fact, what was it, Elon Musk set out to automate cars and their driving, and people said it would take him 20 years to do what Tesla has done in three. And artificial intelligence, computers, and its growth has really blown us away. But there's one thing that it misses that we all have in this room that computers don't, and that's imagination. See, you have imagination in modern, I guess you can say technological philosophers would say that artificial intelligence may never be able to achieve that, the ability to create something new, to imagine something. Computers can enhance and grow and develop the things that we have in our lives, the things that we input into it, but not the things that we have been created. Like imagine for a moment that the Wright brothers never actually dreamed, dreamed about creating a plane and flying it, and then they executed on that. That never happened and artificial intelligence comes around, do you think that it would one day come up, hey, here's a good idea to transport around? And it may happen, but it's unknown. Because it, right now, there's no, nothing in sight that technology can replace that with. And it was Henry David Thoreau who actually recognized several hundred year, a couple hundred years ago, and he said, dreams are the touchstone of a man's character. Even Albert Einstein, one of the four most, most well-known intelligent men of recent history, totally transform the way that we look at physics and mathematics. And he said, imagination is more important than knowledge. You see, in, based on the number of people in this world today, there should be 50 Einsteins, people of his level of intelligence. But we're not getting 50 Einsteins of results. So then what is that? It's the imagination. It's the dreams that are inside of us. Now, many of us, Listening here today, you might be thinking, you may have had ideas at one point. You're like, I hope they do this. I hope this happens. But what you have to come to recognize, it's not they, it's not someone else in the room, it's you. It's you with your dream. It's one person that makes the change. And I don't believe, quite honestly, if we think about where banking has been and where it's, where it's going, a thousand years ago, you may have said to someone that has a safe in their home that, hey, you can, you can take that safe and... This, this company over here will protect it because they, they put more resources around protecting it. That's not a far-fetched idea. But if even 20 years ago I came to you and said, you know, you're going to do all your transactions and make all your payments and collect all the money you have through a piece of electronic in your pocket, you might have thought that it even absurd just 20 years ago. So what made that change? That change happened because there were dreamers and imagineers out there and that decided that they actually were going to go take action on those dreams. And it's well beyond just one person. It's the individual contributions of those dreamers. Whether it be the Martin Luther Kings, as you so eloquently put earlier, or whether that be uh, Bill Gates or Steve Jobs and what they did in technology. You know, there's so many individuals that when they chose, imagine they never chose to actually take action on their dreams. And so what will, what will lead us up into the, the 10 years of banking into the future there could be possibly no change. Because thousands of years went by in human history where there was hardly any change, very little change in wealth and access to, uh, to food and, and the health of humanity. Very little change. Then the Industrial Revolution came around. Then the Technological Revolution came around. And so don't let your dreams die with you. You have to begin to express it. You see, what happens to a lot of us is when we're children, we have a lot of dreams. We're very imaginative, and we think about all sorts of crazy things. And somewhere along the way, someone says to us, be realistic. You need to make a real plan. And there's only partial truth in that, and the partial truth is, yes, you need a plan, because there are going to be obstacles and challenges along the way. But do you think that the Wright brothers were thought to be crazy because they were going to go fly in the air? 
Do you think that a talking rat is going to become one of the most wealthy corporations in the world? Yeah, I think Disney had an inspired dream and he had to pursue it because his, he was almost admitted to a, a hospital for being considered crazy. And you might be. And this is the platform that you get to exercise your imagination and your dreams on. Here, here in City National Bank, as you do it, 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 you may not have come here and thought, man, I want to grow up and increase the net interest margin of a bank. <laughs> <laughs> but you have greater dreams beyond this, and this is a place where you get to begin to express that imagination. So don't be shy and don't be hesitant and begin to exercise that, because if you don't, Look around that there's a lot of people who have dreams and the graveyard of the graveyard is a place where dreams tend to die with people. Don't let your dreams die with you. Because it's you, as if even if one individual in this room gets this, if one individual, everyone's life can be completely changed. Because it's not about you that way, it's about other people. It's about giving of growth, of gratitude, of graciousness, of making an impact, of making a difference. Because you have a dream that you chose to take a little more action. Thank you.